<laughs> Alright everyone, welcome to another episode of Replay. This is Dan Reichert, and this time I'm joined by Joe Juba. Joe here. Andrew Reiner. Yeah. And Tim Terry. Oh, hi. And today we are going to play 2001's Devil May Cry from Capcom. And uh, I think we've all played this, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, many times over. You know what? I got my butt kicked by it. I think we're pretty unanimous in how we feel about this game. I mean, do we have anyone that's even kind of lukewarm on it? Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're kind of lukewarm on the series altogether, unless I'm thinking of someone else. You're thinking of someone else. Uh, <laughs> it turns out I really like Devil May Cry in general. Uh, uh, what about favorite, Joe? Which one? Favorite one? I don't know. It's That's hard to say. It's between one and three for me. Because, like, one... One has some, I don't know, one has some value just because it, like, introduced all of the, you know, it introduced all of the concepts and stuff like that. It introduced Dante and, like, really did a ton for the, oh, I don't even need to go in here. <laughs> really did a ton for just the whole, like, stylish action genre in general. But, um, so, I mean, it's got to get some credit for that. At the same time, 3 is probably the most refined in terms of mechanics and stuff and probably objectively a better game. So... I don't know. It's a toss-up for me. Yeah, I, I pretty much agree. I think three is three is my favorite. But yeah, that wow factor the first time you played this one. Um, I remember thinking it might be you know a little more on the Resident Evil side of things, a lot mm -hmm. more puzzles. And I remember as soon as I loaded it up, um, I think a demo disc came with Code Veronica X, if I remember right. Yeah. And I realized that uh, you had unlimited ammo. And I mean, you could tell right then it's going to be a very different game from Resident Evil. Very oh, yeah. difficult game. I saw you playing this too the, earlier. Using you're using that unlimited ammo. Guns are. Uh, Guns are not the way to go in Devil May Cry, man. If They're you useful. Succeed. I'm going to interrupt this boring discussion here and <laughs> say that uh, we skipped the beginning here. Um, Dan got really lost in the first <laughs> castle. Uh, he had no idea what he was doing. This is uh, not true. Despite the fact we that ran you, out of tape, it clearly yeah. tells you that you need to collect 45 red no, orbs. No, no. Pretty much any game that doesn't involve moving from left to right, Dan's completely <laughs> lost. <laughs> Like he was complaining about running toward the camera, so we had to hand the uh, controller to Joe. Dude, watch out. You could get impaled by that thing. No way. Uh, yeah. It looks dangerous. Uh, yeah. I don't think. So this is the oh, second mission. It might be right now. It is right now, isn't it? Huh. Watch out, dude. I yep. I mean, I'm so, if a sword asks me to swear <laughs> eternal loyalty to it, <laughs> if, especially if it's an electric sword, I think I'll probably do that. <laughs> electric sword's not a bad band name. Uh, it'd probably be a single, actually. <laughs> Perhaps by the band Tesla. Tesla. Mm. <laughs> It'll be a better song than any of the ones they Did ever you, came uh, up with. You guys are missing it. Look at this. This is e awesome. Yeah, but so is the discussion on Tesla. Did you listen to a lot of Tesla when you were growing up? Absolutely not. No. I heard they were mostly bad. Okay, this part I didn't quite understand. That's not how that works. How those wings are happening in through It's a magic there. sword, man. Yeah. You'd be, he'd be torn oh. apart. Oh. He's the son of Sparta. He probably could have done that way easier just by grabbing it. Yeah. Pulling that right out. I think he does that in later games in the series. <laughs> he starts to do it, and then he's like, that hurt last time. This well, is he... different than the beginning of 3, where he's just eating pizza and shooting everyone that comes into his bar or shop or whatever that he is. He was way like cooler when he yeah. was younger. He's a Highlander. Oh, really? that is very Highlander. Oh, especially that. Oh, man, they yeah. stole everything. I mean, this is pretty much Highlander the game. Hey, remember just the... need some queen. Actually, speaking of which, remember that Highlander game that was going to come out? What system? Yeah, Sega was making it, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we 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 saw a little bit of it in action at one point. It was basically Devil May Cry, except it was called Highlander. Wait, for this console generation? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's still happening? No. <laughs> I, I don't know, I never heard any official yeah, we word didn't hear on, it getting, it was on it getting canceled, but, I mean... We should maybe do our job and probably. find out. Probably. <laughs> so Damn. you got you have the new sword now. That, you start with, it's what is it? Is it Gladius? Is that your main sword? I uh, know it's called the Force Edge. Oh, it's a stupid name. <laughs> um, Damn that. It sounds like a character's name from a bad JRPG. <laughs> but regardless, yeah, it's like if Dan named a sword. <laughs> Name's Link Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, from Super that's pretty pretty cocky of you, Dan. I think all three of you on Super Replay made fun of me for that. Well, you all right, on the spot, it. you get a sword. What that's not name enough it? of us. What do I name a sword? Just on the spot. Hey, I'm using Devil name Trigger, it. by the way. Oh man, so awesome. <laughs> I don't think I'd name my sword. Dante's going to be able to do that in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You have to name a sword if you get one. Siegfried. Oh, that's God. very original. <laughs> if I ever get a pet lion, I'm going to name him Aslan. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> 
He's got white hair. <laughs> <laughs> Aslan or Dante? Oh, no, I was talking about the game that we're playing right now. <laughs> Fancy that. Oh, those blue orbs are fun. Yeah, those things are awesome. They're I like, think I have three fragments of them already. They're All right, like so heart now we're pieces. Powering up. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, Stinger's so good. Oh. Although Sting right now you can do the move where you like hike them up in the air and then shoot them, can't you? Or you're too good for guns. You don't like using guns. I use game. guns sometimes. It's just they're not... It's about the sword. Yeah, it's all about the sword in Devil May Cry. I agree. Yeah. The guns are handy. What about that big uh, Cerberus boss in uh, 3? Well, you shoot his head. Yeah, if, I, four bosses that you can only use guns against. Yeah, <laughs> I guess You can use the sword useful. against them. Although the best weapon in 3 is the electric guitar that shoots bats. Revan? It's called uh, Nevin. It's called Nevin, different. Tim. Revan's from a different game altogether. It's from... Hey, Dan, Tor, isn't it? Nice, yeah, that's nice they were probably. One of the things, by the way, that pushes um that pushes uh Devil May Cry three up in my mind a little bit now that I think about it, is the whole if you if you play special edition, you've got the whole Virgil playable thing. Yeah. Which is awesome. Especially if you like get him up to his like it, I forget what you have to do for it. You can basically unlock unlock Nello Angelo for it. Oh yeah, sorry, we're going straight back. I'm buying Stinger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stinger. I had mixed feelings about that because that it closes the gap really well. But if I remember right, it also launches enemies across the room, which can make continuing your combos kind of rough. Yeah, that's true. The thing about stinger though is like this game's dodge mechanic is really not very right. good. So it's pretty much the best thing that you've got in terms of um, mobi like quick mobility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't think I ever used it like that, unfortunately. I can never. There we go. Yeah, we'll just triangle jump this time. Yeah, triangles jump in this one. It's yeah, it's different from where it goes uh, in other entries in the series. But one of those things, like the first time you play Metal Gear Solid, where the confirmation button just throws you off for oh, half God. the game. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I'm skipping these guys. I fought them a couple times already. Devil May Cry Three was the only one with a really good antagonist to me too. Like I, I really, really liked Virgil. They was really. This, uh, didn't Dante meet Dante in this game? Um, mm. Nilo Angelo, uh, who is Virgil, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you kill Virgil in 3, which is the prequel, and then he comes back in this one as Nilo Angelo. Much less That was cool. a pretty cool moment in this game. I also remember hearing something about that actually being a mistranslation, that it was supposed to be Nero Angelo. Really? Which adds fuel to the uh, speculation that Nero is Virgil's son. Or, yeah, that's what I mean. Huh, Nero I can see that. Nero from DC4 being Virgil's son. Because in four he uses the Yamato Virgil's Yamato sword as oh, right. his, like yeah. as his weapon too. So this is very all my children. Oh yeah. yeah. Who knew this storyline was so deep? Yeah, like, everybody's related. Things. Okay, I guess I don't need to go there. Was Nero even referenced in four or before four? No, no, okay. not at all. He was totally new. They wanted to do a whole reboot thing. Okay. He was a really good character. I mean, I'm not not like personality wise but like his mechanics were awesome oh man that i mean that devil bringer I think. uh yeah the devil bringer with that thing was um was awesome like virgil virgil in the special edition is was sort of the precursor to that because he could teleport and that sort of thing i mean like we were just talking about mobility like in combat mobility is something that devil may cry kind of has problems with right and that's something that virgil and nero are are both so good at is just being like Virgil can teleport and Nero can get, bring the enemies to you, which is just awesome. Yeah, this uh, this game. I wish they could almost like re revisit this game. I always thought that this was perfect and, and a fun fun game. But if they could like take some of the mechanics that they introduced later in the game and maybe do like a a slight re remake, not even a whole remake, but just tweak it. Well, it's still it, it kind of holds up pretty well for a nine year old game. Like I mean, the, Actually, you know, do the classic move with the guns, like launch the guy up in the air. Oh, okay, get that juggle. So, yeah, I remember seeing that the first time. I was like, wow, I can't believe I can do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, and this was the room, too, where I was really, like, started to be really impressed with this game. Uh, this is where the smoke creature comes out, right? Uh, uh, the you panther. Don't fight, you don't fight him yet, do you? Right. Not yet. It's no, in this room, though. But it yeah, is whenever he comes yeah. out, I was like, wow, that was cool. Yeah. Also, yeah, he, like, runs around you. Like, he comes out of the ground. So, like, kind of like a uh, war or ruin in Darksiders. Kind of yeah. just comes yep. out of the ground and... Yeah, yep. that was really cool. This is what we call danning it up. <laughs> He's shooting from afar. It works. Yeah, nothing Taking like... five times as long. Yeah, nothing makes you feel awesome like Not doing the game gradual the chip damage against things. <laughs> well, I used the sword, too. I never used Ifrit. 
I was not a fan of that. Oh, yeah, man, that's your problem. Most things are great. I don't like it, Britt. I'm, I'm with Dan on that one. I, whenever I'm given a gauntlet weapon in a game, I always end up just feeling limited. And this game was no exception to that one. Was it you get Beowulf? Is that the, the equivalent in 3? Yeah. I think so, yeah, 3, but it's hands and feet. Or maybe mm -hmm. it's just feet in 3, and I remember that actually being decent. I actually kind of liked all the weapons in 3. I just realized I may have not had to do that. I think I could have just ran, ran up here. Well, it was cool still fight, flashy and fun. Uh, also, I need help jumping, apparently. Yeah, platforming sucked in this game. Really? I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat yeah. that one. <laughs> I guess you could use that for anything. <laughs> Get that one started. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, platforming was pretty rough, especially when that that bridge splits apart. Well, the bullet, and they do the weird, like, the turns out the... Oh, great. <laughs> do you have a vital star? I can do this. Oh, yeah. I think you automatically regain health there. Yeah. Um, you know, Oh no! What? Oh, oh what? yeah, they can string you up. I hate that. All right. So much backtracking and just fetching in this game. Yeah, you can you can kind of tell that this game started out as a Resident Evil right. because it does have very much the sort of like get a key, use the key sort of. Mm -hmm. Did I need to? Do Which they didn't really they stray from from, unfortunately. They, they kept that going in the later Devil May Cry too. Well, Not yeah. nearly as much. Out. There we go. I'd say so. I mean, Jump. think about four and how much you, the, the game is all backtracking. Half of it is just like, oh, I'm going oh. back to these places. Well, that's, and... that, that's a problem with the design of, of four, but they don't do it as much of the, like, you know, key card door, mm. key card right. door. It gets, of... gets a little more linear, which suits its, itself that uh, this kind of game well. Yeah. Yeah, four is the worst by far in terms of backtracking. Because you go through half the game as Nero, and then you pretty much just retrace your steps as Dante. Mm -hmm. Which is really too bad, because like, like we were saying, I really like the mechanics in 4 a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, is this where you fight the deaths for the first yeah, time? Yeah, I think we're trying to go, right? go out of here and those like weird hag ladies show up. Yeah, you get the shotgun in this room, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because you have to destroy their mask. <laughs> I, I like the shotgun. Shotgun's it's it's a good. satisfying weapon. Like I love he does like a Terminator reload with it. Yep. Those things are dumb. I hate them. There it is. These yep. enemies, in this whole series, these enemies are just filled with just big FUs. <laughs> <laughs> They're the worst in three. Am I, think, am I remembering like right the hedge three where right? it's like the first boss? Yeah. It's, just... it's one of these and he goes in the ground and he bursts up and he'll hit you almost every time. It, where do you even really buy tough. something like that? <laughs> the giant hedge clippers? Yeah, like who would ever know. use them? Oh, Hobby seriously? Lobby. Come on, man. Sears? Maybe. I got a pretty good. All right, I'm chumping it up here. I need to get him. Oh, for as much crap oh, yeah. as you give me for a second of this game. Yeah, he's, uh, uh, remember, Dan, you were on. playing on easy no, auto. When no, I no, no. Uh, I'm, hey, hey, you will not deny. <laughs> you couldn't get out of the first castle area. You were playing I did. on easy auto. Joe got lost there, too, and later on I played on easy auto to check some of the later missions. But we did the uh, Tim beat the uh, spider boss on normal. Yeah, it took me like four tries. That's it. All right. And uh, I worked through all the levels on normal until the end there. Can't wait to hear in the comments about all the people that are amazing at this game. Oh, oh man, you really damned that yeah. up. Yeah, sorry, guys. That's going to happen. We have yellow orbs, though. We'll start over. We'd be doing it wrong if we were... Well, actually, that's not... I mean, this game actually... I mean, it is harder than you remember it, too. Um, mm. I mean, it's not diff It's not hard in terms of, like, really challenging, but the enemies take away an unfair amount of health when they hit you in this one. And I think one of the big issues is with, you know, games of this genre nowadays, like God of War, to dodge, you press the stick where you want to dodge. You yeah. know, these g games now, it's so easy to evade, and here, there's just... If like, you want to evade in Devil May Cry, I'll give a little demonstration. You hold the trigger, and then you have to hit triangle to do this, like, little roll thing. Yeah. And sometimes you jump, and, like, I mean, you know... Maybe I'm just not very good, but... There's just a lot of situations that you need a quicker response than that. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try this again. Do I have to make a break for the shotgun? Probably. They help against these guys. So why is he in this castle to begin with? Uh, oh, because Trish, who is a character in the series, apparently, but only shows up very <laughs> briefly. Yeah. Like, you're supposed to care about her. She's something. in the logo. Yeah, she comes and tells you that, like, the Dark Lord Mundus or something is, uh, you know. She doesn't say it like that, though. <laughs> no, no, no. She has a much more feminine voice than I do. Right, because she's a girl. Um, yeah. She's a lady. But, uh. So is oh. he like, uh, I have nothing better to do? Why not? 
He's a mercenary. He's like a he does this stuff for fu for hire. This is uh his store is called Devil May Cry, right? That's a his he, store, his shop thing, <laughs> kiosk. What, what does he sell there? What is that store? Him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think it is kind of him. He provides many services. <laughs> <laughs> and pizza. Okay. There we go. He's like a ninja turtle. Fights evil. Pizza. But oh, he, right. he takes more bites than a ninja turtle. Ninja turtles generally <laughs> can take down a pizza slice in about two bites. <laughs> totally unrealistic. You choke doing that. I did that. <laughs> I was in the ER for at least two hours. That sucked. <laughs> Wasn't worth it. <laughs> you need to start up a uh, an advo an advocacy group, Tim, for accurate pizza eating depictions. Well, we already f formed that that alliance, and uh, thankfully we got Ninja Turtles off the air. So <laughs> no, you didn't. Aren't they still on? Who cares? No, I don't think so. Don't worry about it. Did you kill them all? I killed some <laughs> of them. There we go. The hand never made sense to me. I like it the best when you're standing in front of the door and it looks like it's about to grab you and shatters. Yeah, well, and that's another like super old school. <gasps> ha ha. That's another <laughs> super old school design convention. The whole like you know, um, uh, oh yeah, you can see this door and where you want to go, but you just can't go through it. Not right yet. Now. Yeah. Yeah. The old kind of symphony of the night. Oh, we Metroid still see thing. that in games too, which is. Oh yeah. It's still so satisfying. I mean, it sucks at first, but. Like, what? nah, I think I got better uses for the Staff of Judgment here, guys. And it's like this. It's like Resident Evil. This key is no longer useful for anything ever in the rest of the game. <laughs> you want to throw it away? All right, so I died and used an orb, so I don't think I'm going to get a great grade on this. Get, I'm predicting a D. Yeah. You got a Dan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, nice boy. <laughs> it right. starts with the same letter. <laughs> I still like that one. I did. <laughs> fun, fun joke. Oh, boy. So are we on to the spider guy next? I believe this is the mission with the spider, yes. Ooh, this is it gonna, is. This is going to end up being an extra bonus replay, I think. This game is hard to really get a good glimpse of within uh, the normal replay structure, but yet there's other games that are worth doing uh, a longer look at. This is a... Uh, I'm look, I'm looking forward to seeing how Joe handles this guy. This is this is not an easy fight. I made the mistake of not buying my lightning thing, which is going to be a problem for me. Oh, is that the air raid thing? Is that yeah, what you're that's four thousand. I don't know if I can afford it or not. Yeah, it's but. four thousand. You're not going to be anywhere near it. All right, so you're going to need to go up to that uh, floaty thing there. Telling me what floaty thing I need to go up to, <laughs> Mr. Easy Auto. <sighs> All right, so now you got to backtrack here. It's going to open up that uh, the door behind you. There's that stupid hand again. And wasn't this, I think one of the main people behind this game was um, Kamiya, who's uh, Bayonetta. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, I... I want to say Mikami had had something to do with it also, but I guess I don't remember that one definitely. Need to go through that door right there. Yeah, because yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. Because like that's one of the reasons Bayonetta is so similar to this game is like it's sort of his, uh, uh, you know, the first stage of his ideas. What do they call it? Like stylish action or something? Yeah, like that? yeah, something like that. But very I mean, Japanese. But you really genre. See, I mean, you can't deny that you still see the. I mean, the influence of Devil May Cry is in like God of War. And right. Stuff like oh yeah. That, you know, like there's no no two ways around that. So. Uh huh. I oh, I really wish I could have seen what Resident Evil would have turned into from this game because I remember seeing the early trailers with Leon walking around this this area with this weird mist stuff following him and. Glad this bridge didn't collapse. Jill, I'll warn you now, you might want to use the shotgun for uh, these skull guys yeah. down here. Yeah. They're pretty rough. So what are the odds of getting struck by lightning? Is it greater or lesser than like, with getting or with eaten by a shark? Ooh, with or without holding a lightning sword. <laughs> ah. I, I guess I've never heard of those odds before. Yeah, it's changed. I don't think lightning conducts electricity. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm talking about the metal sword mostly. <laughs> These guys suck, yeah, by the way. Do. These are the most unassuming. Like, you wouldn't think. They just bite you. Oh. 
How frustrating is that? <laughs> it's like a dumb dog, but it's just a skull face. Reminds me of the. And end. they just sit there looking at you. <laughs> like, oh, no, no, I'll we'll attack you. Reminds me of the ghost fish in the first Ninja Gaiden, or the first Xbox Ninja Gaiden. Sure, they do, Dad. Well, flying there ghost things, and they're annoying. Yes. Oh, good. He had a, he had health in his brains. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that one like automatically recharge you anyway? Or no, sometimes they don't drop. That's annoying. I think I, I think this is when I want to switch to handguns though, because we've got we've got the big spider coming up here, right? And here we go. Let's yeah. make a prediction. How many how many lives is this gonna take? Joe, what do you think? I think Joe can do it one shot. Zero. You think you can do it one shot? I mean, I've done it before. I haven't played this game in years. But, right. ah. if, if Joe played the original Devil May Cry, anything like he plays Bayonetta, then uh, he's probably going to pound this guy into the dirt. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't hurt to be a little cocky. Right. I beat Devil May Cry 3 on every difficulty level, and I still had issues when I fought this guy again. Huh. I, ne I never did that Dante Must Die business. or I don't know if that was this one. But. Uh, Dante Must Die is... I, it's in this one as well, yep. I think. But yep. uh, it's the, the hardest one in Devil May Cry 3, but then after that, there's Heaven and Hell mode to where one hit will kill you. Yikes. That one's tough. This guy is mean. He's just mean-spirited, too. <laughs> and he has a voice. Do we want to watch this cutscene? He's oh, sure. so Let's cool looking. His voice. He's still just really cool looking. Is that Gandalf? <laughs> That's what happened to him. <laughs> Gandalf the spider. Oh, he turned into a spider when he fell on the pit. Oh, right. He makes like some the people Balrog. thought he turned into like well, you Gandalf know, the White. Well, but you know that right. spider that Frodo and Sam have to fight? That's Shelob. Shelob? Yeah, that's that Gandalf also goes by Shelob. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh. It's a fun fact. Tell all your friends. All right, here we go. But not at your D and D match, of course. Oh, session. <laughs> You're fearless, man. Look at you go. Get on that. Oh, so you just uh, hmm. just kind of move around a lot. Whoa. Yeah, when whoa. I was watch watching out. Dan play this, he just kind of sat behind a pillar, and it uh, just killed him. Let like me guess. Hits. He tried to use his guns a lot. He did. But he was uh -huh. shooting a pillar. <laughs> oh, yeah, the old stun. Get in there. I like. I love. I love how you can stand on him and just hack away at him. It's well, hard to do it oh, though. That's a problem. That's going to be a huge problem. <laughs> you get a good opportunity when you're dodging those if you can loop around and get up in his face right afterwards. It's a nice. Uh, it also helps if you can see what's happening, which is another one Hammer of the problems. With oh the yeah, you get general. worked. All right, you should double do trigger. Nice. I was already oh. double triggered. Okay, so I'm not going to do this probably. But I have faith in you. Yeah, you have a vital so. star? Yeah, I think he does. Joe, yeah, you might want to check. Do that I think you have a vital star. Oh, it, it hurts to use him. You're yeah. a karate kid. Yeah, because if, if you use a yellow orb, you don't even get that vital star back. Yeah, I, I always felt like it, it reminds me of that that issue you deal with when you're like playing a Mega Man game. You're like, do I want to use this E-Tank? What if I die Oh, wait, anyway? Dan, how many tries did this take me? I'm just curious. Did it take me four or five or we six? We added it out about six or seven. I mean, we jumped right to this one. So. Uh, oh, oh, man. man. That's, uh, that's a lie. Thank you, Reiner. Wait, is this when he chases you? He pulled a Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Does he chase you down the hallway now, or is that a little later? That's in the next mission. That's in the next mission, oh, okay. which is awesome, but I think we're probably going to have to call it quits there, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's so see how you Joe did. Joe finally yeah, took down the spider. After numerous tries, Joe finally felled the spider. And it's a nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> that's uh, that's a better, better score. I can't think of anything that starts with C that's funny though. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, everyone, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for replay roulette. All right, everyone, you just saw what uh, we'll be playing for uh, Replay Roulette, and I'm looking at Tim's face right now. <laughs> I, take it, <laughs> I take it you haven't uh, played this, Tim. No, no game found in my memory card of this. This game... That's the joke I went with. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Black Ops. These guys made Treasures of the Deep. And this came out after 9-11 and kind of capitalized on that you can kill uh, Osama bin Laden. In it. Oh, yeah, there he is. Right mm -hmm. there. Oh, this is the Osama bin Laden game. Graphics. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't... Those are really good graphics. <laughs> Photorealistic. That's better than wow. History. Yeah, this is up there. Oh, this we're making light of terrorism. terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow, yeah. This is sobering. <laughs> so is there like a title screen that we can like play a game from? Thanks for the stand. This is great. <laughs> yeah.
So far, I'm loving this. Can I can I kill Osama bin Laden today? Um, there he is. It's <laughs> his character model. Whoa, is that Rip Torn? <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> he looked more like his character from God of War 3, but... Yeah, well, uh, I think, I assume Osama bin Laden would have to be the last boss. I don't think anyone in this room has played this game. Is it like, right? in, is it like in Wolfenstein where he has, like, a, a metal bodysuit <laughs> with a bubble shield helmet and four Gatling guns? I'm going to doubt it. And then you shoot that, and it falls off, and he's just ripped holding two machine guns. <laughs> That's Hitler. Oh, there we go. Whatever. <laughs> this game, is this going to be good? I don't know. Oh, None of us have played it. Yeah, check out no, the come on. Oh, I, don't, I play inverted if you guys want to. Oh, it's going to make a huge difference. Don't, yeah. It's going to be so Listen, much better. Don't. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Hey, Seriously? Guess what? Oh, whatever. This is so boring. boring. <laughs> whatever. Oh, hey, Florida, yes. There you go. Except, you, you know problem. what? If you don't want me to invert the controls, don't let me, let me play a first-person shooter, all right? Or maybe you should like play, play games maybe normally. You should go back to the Afghanistan, Pakistan border, Joe. <laughs> Hang out with your Al Qaeda leaders. I think you need to be assigned to a different mission. I don't know that beard. <laughs> Is that a covert mission? I've got a visual on LZ Raven. We're taking fire. Service to air weapons. Your heart out, Call of Duty. Boy. Oh no, we can't afford to show that helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> this is one of those I think games. That's the right lighting on his body. <laughs> This is one of those games that switches between first person and third person, so that should be great. We gotta show off that awesome character model. <laughs> oh, go punch him! Punch him so hard! No. Oh. Is that him? Oh man. <laughs> I'm that... pressing things like I'd be playing Call of Duty. Can you zoom in with no, that sniper just, rifle? No, just no scope him. It's whatever. <laughs> oh, is it geez. like a D-pad thing? All the terrorists are right here. <laughs> <laughs> we found him! <laughs> A deck of 52 right there. Oh, oh there there he is. Is. Okay. Yeah, no, I have no ammo. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. Go punch him. Ah, all right. Yeah, your piss. Okay. Oh, Get... They're not very good shots. Oh, I, turns out neither am I. All right, I got... Go butt him. Do I just have God mode on all the time? <laughs> Where are you going? Oh. I'm not done. Oh, you're, you're both alive. These are really bad terrorists. <laughs> Oh, that's a slow death animation. Are you dead? All right. Oh, ricochets. No, you can't. They just keep anything. respawning. No, it doesn't. Oh, nice you don't die. You don't take much damage. Look at how slow <laughs> they go. These are like worse than uh, Goldeneye death animations. Yeah, Jeez. they really, they really take their time. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta savor it. That only happens once. <laughs> that doesn't look like a shotgun. Just what, I was looking for. what is that? <laughs> is this from? Is this Perfect Dark? <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Why not? Oh, you toasted their waffles. It looks Who's... like the MS Paint like spray. Oh, you're behind me. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna melee. Oh, you can't melee with a flame. Though. That makes. It sense. might explode. He's just protecting himself. <laughs> is that horse fire? Looks really yeah. bad. <laughs> I think they did some mocap. Okay. The rest of this roulette is going to be dedicated to me doing this as quickly as I can. <laughs> speed run. The first ever perfect speed run. It'll be our next speed super run. replay. I wonder if there are any speed runs out there. People spend some time playing. This is how you use these, right? <laughs> okay, nice shot. Thanks. I don't even know how to reload. Some grenades. Airburst grenades. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that was a nice, nice door. If you're running when you're looking down this. Yeah, it's all. It's oh, I just real. I just saw. The, see the. Uh, oh, it wasn't there the whole time. That beat like the BJ Blazkowicz like thing that pops up in the upper right corner. It's like oh, a little it his portrait. Face or something? Yeah, it's like oh, his face. Okay. I don't know where it came from. Though. His name was. I like how if you're running while you're looking down the sniper scope, it just stays right there. It yeah, doesn't bob at all. Well, I mean. Americans are good at that. Take a nap. <laughs> oh, I see a man. All right. Come on, just charge in Wait, there. Wait, is that Osama? <laughs> oh my yeah! god, it is. Yeah! <laughs> no, don't get him. That's the... <laughs> what are you doing? You're on Osama. No. <laughs> it's wrong. It's worth a lot more. What? Oh, no. What am I juking? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why 
I'm wearing what? sunglasses uh, at night, okay. too. <laughs> sure, you can. Uh, this is actually happening right now. Why not? Get him right in the face. <laughs> Pretend he's Osama. He, he's blocking all that. You gotta right. do a super move. I'll just go this way. Okay, uh, it's over, over, down, forward, punch. I think you might need to consider pressing the L1 button for help. I'll just do this and hit all the buttons. Oh, he's turning it on. So left punch, right punch. Triangle oh, circle. Right. Triangle circle. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Eddie Gordo stuff. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> This is mortal. Oh, stop it! I will not lose in this game. <laughs> no, get him. Yeah! <laughs> wait, wait. X. <laughs> That's how you terrorism fight. Where'd he go? Where is the guy? Get me out of here. Osama, Osama was right there. He ran into the cave. Bomb that cave. <laughs> he just had. <laughs> it's not Mission complete. Failed. He, he had two away. dudes with him. <laughs> this is oh. upsetting. Oh. We were this close, and this was set in 99. We could have stopped the whole thing. Uh. <laughs> Darn it. How did it's I do? auto-saving. That means that we have a permanent record of this on this card <laughs> now. It's for this you guys, I broke a million. Nice, man. Mm. Well, let's just check and see real quick if the next mission starts with immediately getting Bin Laden, since we know where he is. Yeah. I'm willing to bet it's not. Oh, must want it. Ooh, all right. So, yeah, let's check it out. Uh, there's Riptorn. Wait, did I? Uh, <laughs> it just is Riptorn. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you go straight for him? Yeah, why not? Unless this is just like a profile thing. Is the known leader, I mean, that, that's a member of the I have a paltry sum if you think about it. But anyway, funding, planning, and operation. Oh, you got to kill the oh. other get the other guys. Oh, uh, okay. Richardson? Well. I guess that'll be it for our uh, look at Fugitive Hunter War on Terror here. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been linked to over 20 homicides in the western United States. Terror. Those are dogs. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say terrier, I said terror. No, you, you very on, clearly said War on Terrier. <laughs> war on Terrio. I'm going to take the audio and I'm going to loop it there at the end and we'll see if I say terrier. Fugitive hunter, war on terror here, war on terror here, terror here, terror here, terror here. Okay. I might. I'm, you might be right. No, you, there's no might about it. You do. Wolf folded Dan. <laughs> Rip.